Okay, it's time for a little bit of tack talk. And uh, one, of, one of the things that I get asked, and I have been asked quite a bit, is why do you do your spurs up on the inside? Aren't the buckles supposed to go on the outside? So my spurs here, on my boot, is the buckle is on the inside. All right, now, what, this is, from what I've been told, this was originated in California, California style is to where the buckle is on the inside and then on the outside, the outside you're gonna have fancy silver work. So my brother built these spurs, pretty cool spurs, they have my brand on them and he's a silversmith and a bit maker and he does some real nice work. But enough selfless promotion. Buckles on the inside are a California style, buckles on the outside, so say this pair over here, this set of boots here, the buckles are on the outside. And this is more of a Texas style. So in almost all the equipment that we have and use is either California influenced or Texas influenced. Like a swell fork saddle uh, is more California style. And the slick fork ones like this Wade is more California style. So these boots with the buckle on the outside, it's correct, Texas style. Spur straps with the buckle on the inside, it's correct. It's buckle on the inside. So it's personal, personal preference. And then when you really want to get people guessing and wondering what you're up to, they can't read you because your buckles are neither on the inside or the outside. What you can have is a pair of dove wing spur straps. So these spur straps right here, they have no buckles. What they do is they have a little, as you can see, there's three holes right here. You can adjust how tight they are for dis different size boots to where you can tighten them up or loosen them off. So these are called dove wings. Uh, my friend Derek Pitts, saddle maker extraordinaire, built these for me. And these spurs, these are, the, this style of spur is called a chihuahua and it's got a big old rowel on it. It's probably more California style. Uh, but you know what, you see a lot in Texas like this too. So it's got a big dull rowel on it. And, and people sometimes when they see a, a big spur rowel like that on a spur, they think, geez, that's aggressive. But you know, really, it's less aggressive than say maybe a smaller pointier spur rowel. Like this big, Look at how many tangs it's got on it. It's got a lot of tangs on it. So I can take it and I can bump it against my hand here and, and it doesn't hurt at all. To where if I had, okay, say this spur right here, it's got less tangs on it, less little points on it, and that's a more aggressive spur. That's a sharper spur right there, that one. And it's a smaller rowel, so people might think, well, this is not as severe as this, but no, it's the other way around. The smaller rowel is more severe than the bigger dull one. So, buckles on the outside of your spurs is Texas style. Buckles on the inside is more California style. And if you want to keep your friends really guessing, get a pair of dove wing spur straps with some Chihuahua Mexican spurs that my brother Mark Stewart built, and you really keep them guessing what you're wearing. So <laughs> there's your fashion tips in our tack talk today. So happy trails.